What is going on here? Oh, Daddy! What are you asking? It's actually a decay's birthday. Have you forgotten? I would not forget my son's birthday because I'm his father. The question is, what is all this and what is going on here? It's just a little doings. Yes, we are just trying to keep the vibes alive. Little doings. Keep the vibes alive. I want you to celebrate in the right way. Ejike Mowa, how old are you today? It's a rhetorical question requiring no answer. You are 31 years old today. And in 31 years of your life, what have you achieved on your own? Aside a certificate from the university which I sponsored, what have you achieved on your own? Every 17th day of May, you buy drinks and food, lavish my money, and that's what you do every 365 days of a year, 8,769 hours. The question is, what have you achieved on your own? It should be a day for super reflections of your life. Your sisters gang up with you to celebrate your birthday. If there's anybody to celebrate, it should be the woman who carried you for nine months in her belly. Can I ask you again, what are you celebrating? My dear son, every day and every year should be a reminder that you get closer to your grave. Stop celebrating foolishness. Get serious. Come on, man, it's nothing. Let's continue with celebration. Okay? It's nothing. It's okay. Everybody sit, please. Sit. All right? Everybody sit. Have your drinks. Sorry. Music, music. Let the music continue. Tell me as if I'm a second class citizen in my own father's house. Son, listen. You must be a place sitter in anything you do. Do not borrow the wrong things of life. What I said to you downstairs was not just for you, but for everyone down there. All right. Your message is well understood. Now I need money so that I won't make such a mistake again. I need to invest in my music life. I don't have a, any problem giving you money, but you have to give me a proposal of what you want to use the money for. Pop, are you serious? I have to write a proposal before I can get money from my own dad. It doesn't make sense now. Okay, you should have well asked me to go get a clutterer or get someone to shut me before you can give me money. Dad, this is wrong. Educate more. If the money you are asking for is for your music career, which I've pumped a lot of millions in, and you have. It's gone down the drain, then I will fail you. I don't have no money for your music career. Pop, you don't believe in my vibes? You don't believe in my dream? Why can't you pump in money in my music career? You said you're pumping money. You keep pumping money till it starts paying off. I will be bigger than all these people. Music needs money. You need to sink in money before everything will work out fine. All you do is criticize me. You, you, you discourage my dream. You are killing my vibes, Pop. Criticism remains the propelling force. It is the first thing to tell you about who you are. I don't see the talent in you, in music. If I see that, I'll bring you more money. So, if you want money from me, put it in a proposal. But if it's music, you don't believe in my music career, Pop. Should I sing for you? I got the vibes. I have R&B, I have Afrobeat, I have, I have, listen, I got songs, I got vibes, I got raps. I can sing, I can rap, I can dance. 
Why won't you believe in my career, Pop? Figure it to sound like you will all go now, boy, for Nina. Just go. I have a phone call to make. No problem. No problem, Pop. Make your phone call. But at the same time, think about me. This is unfair. My dad has money and I don't have access to it. No problem. Just know that you're killing my vibes. Okay. Now my pop and there is money, so what's the big? I'm not in my own. I am not in competition with anyone. Egypt, I mean, Jidofo is the only one who is competing with himself. He's smart. Don't forget his records. What a fraudulent human being. The more he embezzled in the last place, can you forgot? How come bank on such a person, bro? Alright, I will give you a heads up about how we are moving up. Thank you, Prof. Yes, thank you. Hello, ladies. Hi, Daddy. What's up? Daddy, we are fine. It's just that we are bothered. We came to ask you why you keep treating Ejike special and ignore things about us as if we are not your children. Yes, Daddy. You devote so much time ensuring that Ejike succeed in whatever he does. While us, who will bring anything to you, you just tell us to go on without even looking into it. It looks as if you're neglecting us. Like, we don't matter to you. Why is it like that, Daddy? Oh, my pretties. Is that the way you feel? Yes, Daddy. Oh, no. Please, I'm sorry. I love you both and I adore you. Yeah, you know, your brother is a direct opposite of what you two have become. He lacks decorum, makes so much noise. Oh, come on, wait, wait. Is that what this meeting is about? Yes, Daddy. Oh, come on, please. Huh? Detach yourself from that. Don't think that way. H.K. Mua is your only brother. I jumped to them up for him. He's the one to take over. That's why I don't can this year, this year, in case anything happens to me. I didn't say anything is going to happen, but he's the man of the house. Eh? After me. You expect me to be in your husband's houses. Eh? That's why I want him to behave like a normal human being. But you would rather his own ideas are Wako. So please, if, I hope I've answered your question. Yes, yes Daddy. Please, let, let this old man get some rest. Okay. Okay. All right, Daddy. Dinner will be ready by the I'm looking forward to it. Let me hear your Did you hear yourself? You need 48 million naira to start your own recording level. Yes, sir. All the ones you recorded, your own music, was any of them a success? You have, you, you don't, I don't know whether you think like a small child. You cannot even buff yourself. You want to buff another person. 48 million naira for a recording level? To record who? Every time you talk about Don Jazzy, Don Jazzy, Don Jazzy, you are not 
quick to mention that Don Jazzy didn't ask his father for money. Mm, were you Don Jazzy's father's friend? Were you there? Uh -uh. Dad, besides, you have this money. You are my dad. You are rich. So why are you finding it difficult to release money for your son to push his car? I did not say I don't have the money. I have it. But I am not giving it to you. Go out, make your own money, and inject into any kind of music you like, whether it will be or a or whatever you call it. Go ahead. My father is rich. Why I don't have access to money is what I can't explain. What's all this? Now? Why are these things have stuck on top? You can't support my career. Listen, if you don't give me this money, there will, in fact, there will be no peace in this house again. You can see you love violence. Mua. Yes, sir. The stingy you're and stingy. stubborn. You are stingy and stubborn, sir. My dad is rich. Yeah, I don't have access to money. You want us to find your debts? Uh -uh. Plan my debt. You go change here. Yeah. So, you came over. You want to not kill me to get the money? Okay. You might call me a webby. Daddy, what did you discuss with him this afternoon? Huh? I told him the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. But you know your brother, you're very stubborn. You tell him A, he does B. Leave music, it is not your talent. Mbao. Join us in business. Uh -oh. He's not succeeding there. Look at both of you. Doing well in business. And I'm proud of you. But your brother, he wants to do music and become popular. Nguano, oh, say it, yeah. Daddy, honestly, I think he should just encourage his passion for music. Actually, music is not that bad. Maybe, just maybe, he will succeed. Sarah, why are you talking as if you don't know that daddy has spent a lot of money on him and this music thing? It is not paying off. I think it's high time he do something else. If you turn it down, you do something else, please. The money I have invested on your brother in this music business is enough to set up 100 EOG men and women to lucrative business. But your brother, leave music is not your talent. Uh -oh. Join us in business. For what? Keep calling him. When you get him, tell him to come back home. Daddy, honestly, something tells me that AGK is going to make it as a big musician. Actually, nothing good comes easy. Consistence and perseverance, that's the secret to success. And from what I see in AGK, he is determined to succeed. <clears throat> Preacher Sarah, thank you, we have heard you. But on this one, I stand with Dad. He should do something else with his life. Well, that saw that vision for you. It's not only fake. He has a combination of labor and agwisi, typhoid, and malaria. Daddy. <laughs> hmm. oh, let me just keep calling him. People who sing on Lavender in the bathroom.
ma no nyen wolo fuku ada za kwa agburu Think my baby want to do that. I don't know. I don't know, but I know Michael is not gonna die in vain. I will avenge whoever did this to him. That guy was a fine young man, very humble and hard working. Why waste his life? Why? Sarah, that assassin wasn't after Michael, but after Dad. Yes, Michael took a bullet that was meant to kill Dad. And we all know the person who has enough grudge and stands to benefit from Dad's demise. Chizzy, what are you talking about? Are you trying to say that AGK tries to kill Dad? Is that what you are implying? 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 I am not implying. Not when the evidence is glaring at us in the face. Um, stop. You must have some respect for your only brother, Ejike. Daddy? Daddy, you know I am saying the truth. Ejike tried to kill you. you say? What did I just say? I am saying that the talks of assassin you sent to kill that they failed. I mean, ah! You think we are joking here? Ejike. Even if we have our differences, it has not gotten to the extent of planning to take that life. Are you sick? Tell that to whoever that will be. Baba, will you shut up before I load you again? Stop it. This is your last warning. Black idiot. Dad, I came the moment I heard what happened. I had to rush down here. Who could be behind this? You guys should not worry. I'll be fine. I will attend to this on my own. Your enemies will never see you. They will never succeed. I think we are not alone together. Are you not one of the enemies? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Are you not keeping my hands up? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'll, I'll, I'll seize your wig. I will seize your wig. I will seize your wig. I tried to shoot him down, but his driver took the bullet for him. That's good. Now he will know why I am called Oshimili Atata. The ocean that never run dry. You may go. Yes, boss. No one and you need to stop prying into my affair. But I overheard you two discussing. Get out of my sight now. 
I said, get out. Have you been? We've been calling you all throughout the night. You didn't pick and you didn't even return it. Will you shut up? I know where he was. He was fine. I'm running late for an appointment. Dad, please, 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 before you move, I'm begging you. I need 48 million naira to complete my studio setup. I don't have 48 million naira for music, but I have 150 million naira for a lucrative business. I can move it up to 500 million naira for you to give me a proposal for a business. Music, Babonia. Daddy, this is your pen now. Must you choose my career for me? We all know that you are rich and I'm suffering. It doesn't make sense. You are the one embarrassing me before my friends and calling me lazy, lazy, lazy. Now I've decided to do something with my life. Support me now. What is 48 million naira to compare to how wealthy you are? Uh, Brother GK, stop saying that. You and I know that Daddy has spent a lot of money on your music career, both for video and for promotion. No, nothing was realized, not even a dime was realized from it. Yet you're here, back with another format, just to extort money from Daddy. Please, do something else. This music thing is not for you. So, I, are you Dad's manager or his speaker? Eh, hey, I'm his everything. One more word from that hole on your face, eh? I will remind you that you are a woman. Mind your business, I'm talking hey, to my you father. you care more she speaks the truth. I do not have money you because you're a colossal failure when it comes to music. Give me a business proposal. Come to the company. Work. Get money and fund your lifestyle. Rap music. No bro, no bro talent, okay? Nah, Dad, this is wrong, man. Hey, don't choose business for your son, now. I just want to do no, no, no what you're choosing for me. Because everybody be in that company. My destiny is not in sitting down, now. What's all this, now? But well, you can just say you didn't let anything in school. <laughs> ah, Jesus! Jesus! Jesus, Daddy! Ah! Have you come to apologize for your stupidity? Apologize, you said? By the gods. Let them move you out of this madness. Then I will teach you that the boiling pot of water is the end of trickery for the tortoise. And for everything bad and good, if you ever make any attempts on my family again, Jido of four, I will delete you, delete your family, your children in school. Boss, will you just let him go? It's all about you. Boss, give us order. Let's mend this man.
let me call you back. Let me call you back. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I must commend how you went about your presentation in there. That was brilliant. Mm. Thank you. You were not bad, so you literally threw me off balance, honestly. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. It came like bomb. But you were able to defend it. Yeah, I really need to. And I'm so sorry for the way I spoke to you in there. I'm truly sorry. Well, you don't have to be. I should be sorry for speaking out of town. Mm. I know you were angry because I came 18 minutes late. I'm so sorry for coming. Well, late. since you're sorry, how about I see you again? Ah, um, oh, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? So here is my my card. Oh. Just give me a call. Alright? I'll see you some other time. Fine. Bye. Therefore, I don't know what you are doing in my office or what you want from me. You don't have to stop playing ignorance. Because you know very well why I'm here. I am going straight to the point. I will give you 80 million naira for you to step down from your ambition of becoming the next national president of Agroku. <laughs> Well, the way you have spoken just now shows me you're not a businessman. Uh, but I'll forgive you. Time is of the essence, so I have no, got no time to waste. My answer is capital now. I don't need your money, but you will never become president of the agrofeed. Oh, come on, Chief Donald. That's very immature of you to use that singular incident against me. Oh. I hit you too hard, but the fact is that your history of embezzlement of funds is key that you should not even aspire to be president. You should not even make any try. You're being tolerated right now because you're the founding father of the organization. Nobody wants you as president. So do yourself the simple unknown privilege of just withdrawing and minding your business. Don't you think you're making a mistake working at your team? Donald is my name. I'm human. But I make no mistakes about you. I see. Remember this. The sun will never shine when the sky is cloudy. There's nowhere in the world has all there has been sunshine and rain at the same time. So I will advise you, you know, in interest. Do not mess up your image any further by running for the presidency. You will never be president. Honestly, I don't know. It's an unknown number. Okay. <sighs> Hello, this is me, Sarah Donald, speaking. Yeah, uh, this is Moses. Oh, Moses. How are you? Well, um, I'm fine, thank you. Very well. Hope you had a good day. Well, I um, had an amazing day especially after meeting such an intelligent and a beautiful woman like you. Look, I must commend you for what you did at the presentation today. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you did well. Like, all of you did well. Do you know, at a point, I was <laughs> thinking I am going to lose it to you. Of course, you would definitely lose to me. You know my company is best suited for this job. Mm-mm. Don't be too sure. 
Of course, I've heard a lot about you in terms of contract pursue. But don't let that boost your ego because I am fully prepared. And you see this one? I am going to win this project for my company. You know what? Um, I can actually cut you a slack. There is actually room for a merge. But only on one condition. Hmm. African man. Bribery. So tell me, what's the price? Well... A chance to see your beautiful face again before the presentation day. Is someone asking me for a date? Um, not really. Maybe just lunch and, you know, we could just go somewhere. You pick the place, time, and I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Um, rose grilled and kitchen is okay. All right. Time, please. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. All right. I'll be there. All right. Bye. Uh, it was just a guy I met at the presentation, yeah. So it's nothing serious. Maybe he, he was plotted to distract me from the competition. But you see, I am never going to give in for it. Because this one, I am going to win it for our company. <laughs> the guy you met at the presentation, yes, Romance is speeding up already. Ah, Andy, don't get me wrong. I want that thing. You know, even a man in your life, a guy can have a man like you can you feel It's nothing serious, sis. It's nothing serious. <laughs> hmm. I thought you're going to give me the benefit of that stuff. Now found a man, you are in love, you're dating. Now here she is telling me it's nothing serious. Okay. Why do I keep thinking about the stranger I just met? And whenever I think about her, I, I get butterflies in my stomach. Am I falling in love with her? Love is a beautiful thing. And it's all to happen to a beautiful soul like you. Mom, have you been eavesdropping on my conversation? No. Do I have any reason to do such? No, not exactly. And um, son, have you heard or seen your father today? Well, not really. But I was waiting for him to return so I could tell him how my presentation went. But you seem worried. Is there any problem I don't know of? Yeah. Your father has been acting strange. Like someone who is on an age. After he had a terrible dream last night, so I don't know what his problem is. You mean paranoid? Yeah. But why? My son. Yes, ma'am. You are his favorite and only son. You need to find out why he's looking jumpy these days, please. Well, mom, um, you don't need to worry yourself. Uh, I don't know why he's worried, but I promise I will talk to him. Okay. All right? Okay. Just take a chill. I will. Hope you're good. Come here. Okay. So what are we having for dinner? Mm, let's see for fried rice or Still never called me till now. Let me try and reach out to him and know what the problem is. Who is this? Can I speak to Moses? Sorry, my dear. I'm his mother. 
He was hospitalized for contacting flu. Hospitalized? Yes. We are at Franklin's Hospital. Are you coming? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm in the office right now. I will come as soon as I'm done from the work. Okay. No problem. All right. Do you need anything so I can get it while coming? No, we are okay. Thank you. I'm getting better. Look, Sarah, I'm sorry for not keeping up to the date. <laughs> it's fine. The most important thing is that you get back to your feet. All right. Thank you very much. Thank come you. close. Come <laughs> so, how was your day today at work? Fine. <laughs> thank you for coming. Oh, you don't have to thank me. If I don't come here, who will? <laughs> My brother, excuse me. Okay. Hello, AJK. Where are you so I can come get you immediately? Okay, okay, I'll be there. It's fine. Okay, it's my brother. I need to go bail him. Okay, you can go bail him out. <sighs> okay, I I will be on my way now. All right, all right. Then. Please take care of yourself. And you too. I remember you owe me a date. <laughs> I promise I will make it happen. All right. Come yeah. Okay. Bye. I'll be safe. Okay. I will. All right. My dad is rich. I don't understand what has happened. How could you be this weekend to your own? Weekend? What have I done? Dad, this is unfair. You embarrassed me in public today. I have not seen you today, so how could I embarrass you? You froze my account without telling me. I bought something and I wanted to pay. All of a sudden, there was no money in my account. And my dad is rich. How do we explain this? Oh, poor boy. I didn't freeze your account for your information. I only stopped crediting your account. Of course, you don't have to continue to withdraw when you are not earning. It's not possible. When my father is rich, Dad. you have to work towards we work. Dad, well, you know he shouldn't have done a thing like that. Do you know he almost got mobbed today? All because he went to the fuel station to buy fuel. And when it's time to pay, he discovered that he had no money. That is because he's not productive. If he was productive, he should have been able to know that he was withdrawing and the credit alert comes to his phone. He would have known there's no money there. Paul, just know that you've ended my vibes. And for that reason, I will shock you. He wanted to shock me. Since you started calling me Paul, you want to shock me with bad news. You, you only know how to withdraw, but you don't know how to credit into account. And that's what it is. Please, at least inform me whether you want to go out. I should inform him. Yes. Okay, say make my money. I think you are the one encouraging this evil in this house. You will go with him. When you marry, let's see, let's see how your husband will be your account every day when you're not productive. I cannot stay alive 
and watch that little boy ruin my career. It can never happen. I know what I have endured over the years to rule the conglomerate. Only for Chibdona to turn around and fight against me. And you expect me to keep quiet? No. The moment Chibdona started to convert what's mine, that was the day he drew the papa line of demarcation. The battle line is on. Chief, it has better be resolved though. Because Nga what you've done and what I'll naked him in public. Yes. I say you lost the project because you were not able to do your presentation. But that's fine. Having you here is more important to me than any project. Well, you can say that again, Dad. But Dad, I'm afraid we might not be having you here for long due to the recent talks you engage in. Son, you may not understand. But I want you to know this. Nothing will happen to your father. Well, Dad, I'm not saying anything is going to happen to you, but look, Dad, you have made so much money. Like, so much money that if you decide to stop working for the next 50 years, you will not be poor. Why not sit back and enjoy the dividends of your labor rather than, you know, engaging in this tussle that is making you threaten the life of another man? Please, Dad, think about it. It's okay, son. Like I said, you won't understand. Okay? Nothing will happen to me. Your father is the only one who stays on top of any position. Look, Dad, I understand. I'm not saying anything is going to happen to you. But even if you're not going to stop it for anything, why not stop it for me, your son? Please, Dad, just do this for me. Just relax, son. Okay? I don't go back on my words. And let me reassure you, nothing will happen to me. It's okay, my fight. It's, it's okay. my right. And I must have it. It's okay that at least I said something. At least I wish you could just listen to me. Educa hey, Mowa. Where are you going to with my car? Pop. He gave beats to enter my head, so I'm popping to the studio to go record. Ah, uh, and you want to use my car? Yes, sir. Do you know how much one liter of fuel costs? No, sir. I don't understand. You don't understand because you lack financial understanding. Yeah. But my dad is rich. You can use a taxi. Or trek to the studio. Pop, listen. Before I trek down to that studio, the music here will evaporate. Uh, let it evaporate. Listen, in I add too much weight, go and lose some weight. It will help you to burn out some cholesterol. But, 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 my, my dad is rich now. My dad is rich. My dad is rich. Go on, get it, get better. Listen. The studio is not far from here. It's about uh, six point something kilometers. It's uh, estimatedly one hour, 15 minutes. You go there. Trek is good for you. Dad, you've worked for us now. I can't be suffering again now. I'm losing the vibes. I'm losing, losing the vibes. vibes. Losing the vibes. Okay, theater. They were local. If I trek down, I will lose the vibes, Pop. I'm losing the vibes. Okay, Chiata, don't, don't worry. The vibes will evaporate. I will make it on my I'll own. I got me a bute, kumbute. Eko na pananya. I will rise. I will make this more new. I will come back and show you. Ebute go bike. I will rise. I will 
make it on my own. I got me a buteco. I will shock you. I will tell you that dreams come through with or without you. Really? Yes. Dreams only come through when you don't oversleep. In our go cafe, you have overslept. Look at you. Two months you run back here. Me. You're a messy man. Me. I'd rather die than come back to this house. Let me bet you. Bet, I will be richer than you. I, I, I will be richer than you. I will tell you that this uh, wealth or whatever is dwarf money. Okay. No sense. Okay. I will make it in life and I'll come back here and show you. My story will not be like that of the prodigal son. It will be the other way around. You will be the one looking for me. Go on. Yes. That's not a prodigal son. We will see. Daddy, Daddy, please, can you stop already? You don't have to send him out of this house without giving him any money to hang on. Says who? When I left here, he heard the community. I left with nothing. I could go mansions here and there. Let him go and work hard. He's a very lazy son. Two months, I'm losing my vibes. I'm, I'm losing my vibes. I'm losing my vibes. I'm losing my vibes. I'm losing my vibes. Uh, 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 Sarah, why are you so concerned about an adult that has made his decision? Since he wants to go and don't want to listen to daddy's advice, he should go wherever he wants to go. I know you. And I know your fantasies about becoming a reality. We well, have good news for you. You can never be a man to replace him. Please. Educate! Please. Educate! Educate! Stop! How can my father be rich and I'll be suffering? I, I will shock you. Educate! Educate! Stop! Educate! Stop already! Stop it! Stop! Let him go! Una yo, Sunia! Okana yo! Yo, yo, yo! Mbano! Two months, I will not check right here. If you move the poor man off here. Tony, are you sure he didn't forget his medication? I'm losing my vibes, I'm losing my vibes. I'm losing my vibes. Okay, I lost a video. <laughs> you don't know the normal vibe, vibe, vibe. Don't worry, take care for two months. Vibe will get you out Listen, sis, if you are trying to convince me to stay back here, don't waste your time because it won't work. Here is killing my vibes. That is killing my dreams. So I'm leaving and that's it. Oh, okay, okay, wait. Even if you don't want to stay, let me at least give you something. Let me send you some money so you can. For real? Yes. Put that for my old pay. I, I, ch check. Oh, 700k. Yes. My vibes is back. My vibes is back. Ejike, you know I don't want you to go. Please, take the money and build yourself. Like I always tell you, you have all it takes to make your life better. But tell Dad to eat his house. Let him eat his house. I will make it without him. I will actually come back, right? I will shock him. He, he will see me on TV. I will rise. I will make this morning. He will see me in private jets. Private jets lifestyle. I'm losing my fights. I'm losing my fights. I'm losing my vibes. This money is not enough. Daddy, what is the matter? You have been like this since OGP left his house. Daddy, tell me the truth. Are you regretting of letting him go? Why do you hate your brother so much? <laughs> Daddy, you can't stick. You made me to hate him. Daddy, you have three children. But all you think of is AGK and what she wants him to do. Daddy, it's not fair. We are here, but we are like invisible to you because AGK this, AGK that. We have same passion for the things we want. You are dragging him to do. Believe in us the way you believe in him and you will see that we will do excellence. Why worry myself when both of you are living the life that I want you to live? But daddy, you don't show it. You joined me in business. And you're doing well. So why would I worry about you? Daddy. I'm proud of you. Daddy, why? You are just this typical African man who their male children are utmost important to them. The female ones are nothing. Daddy, I beg you to believe in me. Trust me the way you trust 
AGK, push me the way you push him and I promise to build the world you deserve. The world you want him to build. Was he raw talent? Look at the way this guy is freestyling on Facebook. Bring him now, call him, call him, make him. Omo, you need to make this guy your first record signing. I beg, just call him first. I will do just that. DM yeah, him, call him, if possible. The guy is too good. Call him. No, 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 now let me look for him. Call him, call him, call him, no package him, call him. Oh boy. Says Adam, stop it. Stop it. Dad, I understand you are furious, but you should also know that in business there is no permanent friend or permanent enemy, only permanent interest. That is beneficial. As much as I want to be in business with Glum Oil, gives that little boy no reason to insult me. Does he know who I am? What I'm worth? What I'm capable of doing? Does he? I'm asking you. Oh, now listen, call off that deal. Call it off. I'm not interested in it. Daddy, see, you don't need to meet him anymore. I will go on your behalf and seal this deal. Something in me tells me that this deal is ours and it will benefit us a lot at the end. You want me to continue this deal after what you saw happen today? Daddy, please, just allow me to seal this deal. I promise I will come out with the flying colors. I will bring you good news. Do whatever you want. Are you sure, Daddy? Come on, are you sure? Okay, I think you're sure. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, Daddy, I'll get back to you. Yes, Master. You have an impeccable reputation. You mean Jidolfo said all that? And you're still willing to pitch your tent with him? Forgetting how much he embezzled as public relations officer of an organization? How much will he now embezzle when he becomes the president of that organization? You forget so easily? No, listen, Chief. I think there's a misconstruction of words from you. Jidolfo never served selflessly. He served selfishly. This is him. Come on, sir. Give me a break. If a man could be that selfish to embezzle, embezzle such funds at that level, you're not making president. What do you think he's going to? He also he's only thinking about what he's going to gain, not what he's going to put into the organization. That's who he is. Not when somebody like you, with an impeccable reputation, withdraws your card from him. He will fall like a pack of cards. I plead with you, don't do this to our organization. Do not encourage him further. He is a fraud. I keep on saying that, sir. Please, Chief Maxwell, I beg you, let this not happen. History will not forgive us if we make Jidolfo President of Agrofeed. Are you ready? One. 
Repeat that, stretch it. International. Uh, 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 uh. You get? Take it up. All right, let's go. <laughs> Cause of the things that you can be the do It's all for money, man, I've been working Trying to get it, and I go to Tinati Till I want it, but you are giving energy So I can't wait, no go to do my sins Stop in a hole in a tolu I come and take it out, I want to film myself I want to make sure that I did my It's just my holy car, when I pass water For my nanya, if I'm not saying I don't believe her Set in my guide, so I go fly Make a for boss, so that Tony go feel my dues Take him back, take him back, take him back, take him back. Are you there? Are you there? Say why, why, when I won't cry. Don't cry, and I won't lie. My body tired. But I thought it was in my fire. Why, why, when I won't cry. My own premise, man, don't cry. Like I told you I would. I did it. I did it. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Chizzy, what's going on? I heard your voice from my room. Oh, dear sister. We should be celebrating because I won the company in a mega deal that is worth tens of millions. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Give me my crown. Congratulations, daddy. <laughs> I told you, I have what it takes to become a safe person in our company. I'm going to do it. Well, I'm not doubting you as a Thomas, but uh, until I see the money in my account. Come on, Daddy. Don't worry. They promised to make payments tonight. So, you should give me my share. Of course, you know, I don't fail. Okay, Daddy, I trust you. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> No, you girls are doing very well. Thank Brown, you, Daddy. Brown, Brown, Brown. Thank you, Daddy. Brown. Song. I don't know the artist. 
All I know that is stopping USB board chat. Because of that, it's been streamed on almost every platform. Babe, this song, okay, let me tell you. This song is owned by one of Educate's artists. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> You don't believe it. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Lila, 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 don't cry for your other. I am going Why? to learn the lyrics. I've learned it already. I hear you. Yeah. Learned the give my tunnel, give my brothers, give me my bike. I am so happy for AGK. This is. Determination and focus speaking for him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am proud of him. He has done well. His patience, consistency <laughs> has paid off. So, <sighs> sister of a musician, top musician. <laughs> you get it? Mm. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The one, that, the one I learned. Why, why, baby, don't cry. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> For your endless and selfless sacrifice to this community, I and my cabinet have decided to crown you with the title Okazo Natofe One. Of he or the kingdom. <laughs> You're welcome. That is another one from Tom Anya Mulitina, which you already have. <laughs> Igwe and my fathers, yeah, thank you very much. For me, as a person, you know, I'm humble about the things I do. Um, I can operate in this community without a title. Uh, because in this sense, I don't think I deserve it. But if the entire cabinet says I deserve it, who am I to say no? Dallon. Oh, yes, we do. You deserve it and even more. Yes. You single-handedly built three schools for our community. You built markets for our women and even men. Not to talk about the numerous... Uh, medical benefits mm. our people derive from your generosity you deserve it thank you it's it's thank you it's 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 my elders i greet you this man here should be in his garden eating garden egg with his white eyeglass and helping the poor. Not coming here to add more titles to the ones he already had. It doesn't make sense. Akuchi has an abanda as you were. Okay. I'm proposing 50 million naira for you, Igwe, and 10, 10 million naira for your elders in council. I love that name, Okazu. And I am the biggest fish. But wait, Chief, is this not your son? Yes, his only son. But the question is, what is he doing? You are a useless elder. I'm here to preach. In Omnakojo. Mind your business. The ugly caterpillar is becoming a beautiful butterfly. Welcome, my son. I am not your son. Yes. I know you are surprised that the earthworm survived without brain or leg. The butterfly thinks itself a bird, being urged by the pigeons to go on. <laughs> uh, uh, Chief Donut, uh, something is not right here. What we are witnessing here today has not been seen in this community. But um, I urge you to take your son home and resolve whatever issue you have with him. Igwe, there is nothing to resolve. Mm. 
My vibes is now complete. I told you, Mara Salugolo. Mara Salugolo. My vibes is now complete. You go. Think about my offer. In fact, 100 million naira for you and 20 million for your cabinet. It's Which? all about choice, yeah. Who has one on the big things? Any Kenny or Baba do wins. One in our car, you they feel me. No coach, you will be a big fish. Hello. You know what is best for this kingdom. My father is too old to be dragging that title with me. Okaz Wam of Ihiyoji. That title belongs to me. What has he done? A man that should be helping people and coming down. Is still dragging title? Please, please, please. Let no, let's not push this thing. Support me. Be by me and watch what I will do to you. Eji hmm? There is wisdom in what you just said. Mm. But we shouldn't forget that. Your father has contributed immensely to the growth of this kingdom. And deserve the title more. <laughs> I get them before no be property. Okay. I'm young, fresh and hot. I will bring connections. If you support me, if I get that title, in the next six months, you will see hospitals around here. You will see road projects going on. Have you forgotten my capacity and what I will bring in? You want to forget about all that and reward my father because of what he did in the past? Come on, no, no. You should be thinking future, not past. In fact, I will offer you good money. Support me. That title belongs to me, not my father. Edike Moa, desist from such thought. You can't be contesting with what rightfully belongs to your father. Ale, me, me. It's an abomination. Stop saying that. Oh no, I will give you 10 million naira. Keep two million for yourself and share eight million amongst your co-elders. That's to show you how serious I am. I want that title, Okazu, because I am the biggest fish. You understand? Once two people support me and I get that title, I swear, in the next six months, I will start projects around here. I will build schools. I will build hospitals. I will Listen, you will see it. Sin is believing and you know my capacity. I will bring people to this kingdom. Ejike Moa, I know you have good intentions toward this community. And besides, you are well learned with an immense knowledge of the modern way of life. I will support your claim to the throne. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, Thank you very much. Yeah, In fact, I'll <laughs> add one million naira more to that money. <laughs> Why are you talking? Ejike Moa. Oh, oh. Why? Well, I will pass your message to the other members of the council. Yes. After all, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the title is only meant for the son of the soil. Uh -huh. <laughs> Accountant, uh -huh. bring 11 million now. Yes. I'll send you my location. Bring 11 million cash. Thank you. <laughs> AGK Moa. Oh, no, don't worry. You are there. No, we'll say no more. You are there already. I'm the Pablo <laughs> of all Pablos. Pablo of all Pablo. <laughs> it's all about choice here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. How can a president who enjoys one of the best climate to weather in the world be going to Dubai for the weather climate summit? And he's going with 1,411 delegates. I mean, what are they going there to do? <laughs> Believe me, he's going to show them the kind of people he has. That he's not there for the climate change program. Sure. <laughs> you know, it's really unbelievable. How could a president elected ignore the cry of his people? Have the mind to spend 880 million naira just to sponsor his delegates to Dubai? I mean, who does that? Hey, my sister, you think that the money is on public fund? When hunger and hardship is lavishing the nation in less than a few months that he entered? <laughs> Honestly, the whole thing is crazy. Hello, Daddy. 
Lu bisa? What is wrong with Daddy? Is he angry that a man visited me? I don't think so, but whatever it is that is getting him upset should be avoided. Come on, let me check on him. Fine, open the gate. What is the meaning of this madness? What is the meaning of this madness? Oh, it's going more. In our boyfriend, my compound. Egwara Atuge. For your information, I am no longer a GK. My name is Pablo, aka Charlie Pablo. Pablo names worry. Oh, from Akanapa. Iba Ego, Iba Ibo. Okay. I told you that with or without you, I will be great in life. The hour has come. Yes, I am now a too much money human being. Hey, child, who dances they get a dance? Hmm? Waggles and wiggles is waste. Forgetting that the old woman at the village square was once used to that dance. Look at you. Even with West Spain, I will dance better than you. I am not here for your useless adages. But just like it happened in the Bible where Moses' snake ate all the snakes Pharaoh brought out, I am here to eat your snakes. I am coming for your title, Okazo. Yes, I am the biggest fish. Okazo one on the big things. When you can't do it, I'm blooming. When you're not working, you don't feel me. No question, you don't want to be a big fish. Okazo one on the big things. When you can't do it, I'm blooming. Money now, what are you doing? Look at you, 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 Money no be nothing, put a number, I go pay. Money not just paper, if I show, I go spray. Small fish, oh. Daddy, what was the meaning of that? Why was GK threatening you? What's going on? Daddy, talk to us. The boiling pot is always the end and death of a tortoise, trickery. Mbeku was safe in an hour, Munyeli and Miraco. When a child runs faster than his chi, he runs into confusion. The first money a child makes, he uses it to eat akara. Your brother is using his own to fire bullets into the air. That is the beginning of foolishness. Daddy, we are not understanding anything. Ejike stormed this house with his voice shooting in the air. And all you can say is it's nothing. It's just a show off. Daddy. He stood before you, threatening you, and all you will say is, is a show off. Of course not. I'm, it is I'm, not. I'm, I'm, Sarah, can you stop? Stop it already. What is this? Why are you acting as if you care when you were the one who found his studio? Even when Daddy has clearly said nobody should give him money anymore. Well, I'm very proud of him. But you should tell him to watch his steps. The floor may become suddenly slippery. 
Daddy, what do you mean you are proud of him? My elders. No, no. no. It is said that the journey to the stream does not start when the pot is filled with water. But when it is empty. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't crown the knee when the head is empty. It is true that Chief Donard has helped to bring development to our community. But if I may ask each and every one of us here, of what benefit has it bring to our pockets? At least our children are benefiting from it. How did our children benefit from it? When the government sees the school as their belonging, even though they are not the one that built the school for us. John. You and I know that. Currently, our children, they don't have to wake up early in the morning again to go to school at Umuzi. Eh, that one is true. Then. Anyway, I am coming. <coughs> Yeah, babe. Yeah, baby. You know, we've been dating for months now, and you still don't know where I live. How about you go to my place? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Remember I made mention of this a few months back, but you gave me excuses. Besides, I love your personality, and that is why I'm staying here with you. See, babe, the truth is, there's this thing I've been trying to sort out with my dad, but I'm over it now. Can we go now? Oh, what if I say no? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to my house then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My people. Hello, hello. This is the five million naira given to me by EGPM mm -hmm. to share among us. Yeah. After we have crowned him, the Okazu of Yoji. Yeah. And he openly promised to add additional 20 million naira each. Each and every one of us. She may. Oh no. So what are we talking about? I don't know. Money is talking. Oh, you go near. You go near. The telegram. Oh no. Don't tell me you are planning to accept this money and boycott the tradition of the land. Okazu is not a title for little children. It is a title for great men who have done great things for this. Land. It's your many Even the tradition needs money. Yes. You see, with this money you are saying, I am planning to build two rooms for my incoming wives. It's your many Your kitchen roof is leaking. You also need the money to fix them. It's your Jonah. Your son is very sick at the moment. And it needs medical attention. The money will go a long way. So what are we talking? Eh? What are we expecting from a GK more that he has not done? He define our call. This is money. Here we go. Oh no, you know I don't have any landed property to keep for my children when I'm no more. But with this money now, I can even buy one or two. Oh no. I'm by your side. Up on Genazo on this. Oh no, me too. I I'm with you. On this particular one. Oh no. I'm with you. Adam mm -hmm. Adam hey. I quite agree with you on this. But my concern is the other and the chair. What will they say if they hear this? It's a many on there. We don't need to tell them. All we need is to pressurize Igwe to accept Ejike Mua 
as the man that fits the position. And nothing else. When you ask, then the money becomes ours. No. Oh no. That means tomorrow, all of us will be heading to the palace to tell the king our intention of crowning AGK Moa the Okas, one of this kingdom. Well, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are right. This is money. We are talking about money. Yeah, oh, yeah. Money. We are talking about money. We are going to share it equally. Equally. Eh? Equally. You know, you're going to share it equally. Eh? Equally. My friend Sarah, she's the one I intend to marry. Wow. <laughs> that means you have not even asked her to marry you. Well, mom, um, not exactly. Um, I intend to propose to her because we share a chemistry. Good. Which state and tribe are you from? I'm Ibo, sir, from Anambra State. Who is your father and what does he do for a living? Wait a minute. You look very familiar. Have we met before? Um, not, not really, sir, but my father is quite popular. He's chief, Donald Ejindu, and he is... Get out of my house this minute! What? What? Listen, young woman. Leave my house this minute. I know your father. I know you're eating about and I hate him with a passion. That, that. Leave this house this minute, or I'm going to use you as an example. She go nowhere, Dad. How can you embarrass my guests like that? Then watch me and see what I'm going to do. It's fine. I, I will leave. Dad, what was this? Mom, you better talk to Dad. I don't like this. Mommy, what you did is not good. It's not good. Whatever grievance you have with her father she should remain there. Evelyn, Please. Evelyn, I don't want you interfering in this matter. See yourself out of it. Else. You'll catch my rock. Only it's not good though. This is an innocent girl. Please. I beg you, let's just go back inside. I, I will talk to him. I, I mean, he's not supposed to treat you like that. Moses. Please. Please. I beg you in the name of God. Take me out of this place. Or I'm going to track. And you know I mean it. Look, look, look. <laughs> Babe, see, I'm not disputing that fact. All I'm asking for you is to allow me to go talk to him. Please. Let's, let's resolve all this. Son, that is not the right thing for you to do. Okay? Please, my dear, I'm very sorry. Believe me, what happened there was not supposed to happen. But I'm apologizing on behalf of this family. Please forgive us and give us another chance, please. Ma, you do not need to apologize to me. All I want is for Moses to take me out of this place. I need to go. It's okay. Please, Moses, go and drop her and come back for us to have a word with your father, please. Hurry up. All right, Ma. that family. Her father is evil, backstabbing and greedy. Well, Dad, you just said her father, and not her. You can't be judging her based on what you know about her father. <laughs> You're my son, and it must interest you to know that. I must approve of any woman that you get married to. Wait, wait, wait. As far as that lady, you say no, no. Honey, you mean Chief Donald has been the one causing you all this sleepless night that you have been having? He's only playing a deadly game that may cost his life. Well, you would do no such thing, Dad. I mean, with all your vast wealth and knowledge, what else are you looking for? Power and control. And Chief Donald is standing on my path of achieving that. And you, as my son, must do well to distance yourself from that family. 
Well, I will do no such thing, Dad. I love Sarah very much and I must marry her. So you're going to go against your father because of that woman? Well, if that's the only way you're going to allow me to marry her. Then you marry her and bury her. Oh. I'm upstairs, Mom. Mom, please, can you just allow me be? I'm not ready for any, any of this conversation anymore. Please, just allow me be, Mom, please. Really? I really wish my voice can make an impact to this. But you and your father won't listen to me. I'm afraid of what this, this whole thing will cause in this family. Wait, wait, Mom. What are you implying? Listen to me. Please, don't get me wrong, okay? Can you just do as your father said, for the sake of peace? Please. Wait a, mom. Wait a minute, mom. If I'm getting you correctly, are you asking me to sacrifice my peace, my future, and my joy for the sake of the peace of this family? Well, mom, I would do no such thing. Listen, son. I know you love her. But I'm pleading for you to listen to what your father said. I don't want this how this how this family to have a division, please. Well, mom, I am sorry to disappoint you. I love Sarah very much, and I must marry her. Ah, please, mom, can you just can you just let me be? Can I just have some time for myself? Okay, okay, it's all right. I've had you. Please, can you join me in the dining room? Mom, just I'll join you. Let me just. Call her and see if she'll take my call. Please, I'm waiting for you, please. I'll join you, Mom. Just let me be.
Kwasi anniversary and uh, President Wilson's uh, inauguration. And every other arrangement has been made and the money paid into the account, like you said. Good. My father wants me poor. He wants me to remain poor. So now that I've made money, I will keep stressing him for the rest of his life. My way ne gumbu akoso and akoso ara di monanya. Come on, Pablo. Are you sure you want to do this? I mean, there are more for you to do without dragging your father along. No, dragging him gives me joy. Now I pass you, I pass you, I pass you. Got big case, so I will be stressing him from my case money. Do you understand? My father, he will never have peace. I am the biggest fish. So that title, Okazo, belongs to me. He is too old and outdated to be dragging anything with me. Do you understand? Okay, if you say so. No, no. This is unacceptable. There is no way we are going to crown AGK and Mek Owa of yesterday, Okazo, when we have virtually done nothing to this. Kingdom. No. Sure. But that young man has been going around spending money to our people. Yes. Do you know that there is no better poverty aggression than what that man is doing in this kingdom? Yes, sir. Do you know that my children, the other day, picked almost 207,000 naira? And that money will be enough for them to go back to school. I wonder why the honorable men of this land are so contented with a boy that has turned our children into beggars in the streets. Do you know that on daily basis, they hang around the road for him to drive by so they can hide into him, spray money at them. That's not mine. Uh, it's your career. Do you know my problem with you? I don't know why you are among elders, but you are not supposed to be here because you are not thinking straight. Yes. Oh no. Are you insulting me or what? No, I'm not insulting you. I'm praising you so that you understand. Those people that are waiting, are they complaining? Mba. Do you know how much they are making from AGK on daily basis? Do you know the amount? I will advise you to join the queue. And join them. Onowo and my elders, I do not know what has come over you people. Some of you. Most of you, in fact. As far as that proposition is concerned, my answer is a capital no. A.G.K. Mowa is not qualified to be the Okazo of, uh, of, of, of E.O.J. No. There are other titles for him to pick from. But not Okazo. Why would he be struggling a title with his own father? It's an aberration. And why are we supporting it? Why? Igwe, you are the king and the father of this kingdom. It is always said that the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Igwe, you should be considering the monetary aspect mm. of this kingdom. Not the other way around. Igwe, there is hunger in the land that a common man cannot feed or live. And you see a young man who has come out to give you 20 million naira. 20 whole million. Unu na eba na agba yeri onu. Akole nu akola ana. Ichi okodie. Have you ever seen 10,000? Ask you. In your life. Enye 20 million. Ima rebo osi. Ina ino eba na agba yeri onu. Na akọ. Unu. Unu. Why am I having this feeling that Educate has paid you handsomely 
to be doing this campaign the way you are doing it. Not yeah. just him, not just him. Ichi and Onu and others are also yeah, 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 yeah. compromised. Watch your mouth. I'm going to make sure I'm going to make sure I'm going to make sure I'm going no, tell them to return the money. No, Will you people return the money? Did I beg for it? Did I even beg for money? Alaji? Sanu? Sanu? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you made it possible. Thank you for shunning corrupt Jidolfo and voting for equity integrity and fairness thank you ah yeah, that's a surprise i'll be there at 7 pm trust me and thank you for contributing yes i will serve i will serve as uh, the, the, the agro feed outside thank you thank you Ah, Donald, you think you have the balls to challenge me? You think you have the balls? We'll find out. We'll find out. Honey, what is it? Why are you shouting like this? What is going on? Honey, Donald! What? Donald! You think you can steal what belongs to me? I vow today I will make you pay. If it's the last evil I will do before dying. Honey, what is it now? What is why are you shouting like this? What is going on? You are welcome. But I'm sorry, someone has already beaten you to it. He's ready to make payment. He just left my office. In case you've forgotten, my name is Shan Abdul. Nobody can beat me for what I'm saying. How much do you offer? It's 280 million naira, and that's a huge sum. And uh, such a man cannot be described as. Let me educate you. No matter how rich you are, you life, to someone you are a poor man still. Mr. Donald is a poor man, and I'm very He wants to pay 280 million, right? Yes. I will transfer 350 million naira. Say no more. I will continue to ask you to do that. I will give out. I will give out the whole world. Oh, oh. Just a minute. Let's be our cards. You see the one in the next few minutes. Okay, um, I'm selling my card for that. Do you want to go up on Naira? Naira is okay. Naira is okay. Just do that. Accountant, I will send you an account now. You are not to put on that to me. Awesome. You sound a soldier. What were you telling me on the phone? I'm sorry, I'm no longer interested in selling the property to you. What do you mean you're no longer interested? I just left for the bank to organize the funds. What do you mean you're no longer interested? Are you telling me some body came in here, made a counter offer, and you sold? Yes. What did they offer you? 350 million naira. And, and I believe you understand the benefit of it. I don't understand it in this sense. Because you should be a gentleman. This sounds like a betrayal. This is nothing, it's not, it's not betrayal, this is just pure business, making profits. Making profit at the expense of the kind of transaction we've had over the years? This is not who I know you to be. Okay, okay. I will, I will pay 15 million. I'll give you the 80. I'm sorry, he has already paid. 
paid. This is the end of my relationship with you because you have violated our friendship. This is pure betrayal. Please, please don't make it personal. It's just pure business. Oh. You're a businessman. Oh, I'm making it personal. This is business. Business is all about profits. Father, please. I really love her. And Enough! No amount of pleading will change anything. You are not going to marry that woman. That's final. Father, you really want to do this with me? Because you may not like my next line of action. You're threatening me. Moses, you're threatening me. Father, this is not a threat. I'm only trying to let you know that I'm old enough to decide for myself what I want and don't want. You can't be deciding or detecting my life for me. Moses, how could you? Despite everything I did for you. Why would you want to humiliate me like this? You're fighting your father because of a woman whose father is a thief. Well, Dad, I am old enough to make my own decisions and what I want and don't want. I am going to marry Sarah and nobody's going to stop me. Moses, you want to see the other side of me. Trust me, you won't like it. The worst is that he's not answering his call. That boy is getting on my nerves. Please, see, don't say that. Don't say that. You and I know that Moses is not the type that keeps late nights. You need to do something. Maybe something bad has happened to him. Please. Chief, I suggest we involve Woman, believe me, that boy is out there somewhere with that daughter of a thief. But when the morning comes, I will not let this nonsense happen again. This nonsense will not repeat itself again. Chief, you don't have to say something like that. Something bad might have happened to that, that boy out there. Eh? Please, let's do something. That shameless man, that shameless ego. Eh? Where is he? What no madness has brought you here? Where is my son? I know he's in there. He is in there somewhere. Go in there this minute and bring my son out. Else, I will destroy whatever you think you must have built in your entire life. Hundreds of your likes cannot do anything to me. I ask you again. Why are you in my house? Stop pretending. Go in there and bring out my son. I know he is in there. Sir, Moses is not here. In fact, I have never set my eyes on him since the last time you humiliated me out of your house. No, go there and search for my son. Don't you dare cross here, otherwise I will shatter your head with this. How dare you? Come on, will you step back? How dare you? This... Get out of here. Forget out. You mustn't touch her, though, won't you? It's your book, I turn hands over draw. We shall see.
You don't have to do this. Yes, what he did was wrong. But you going after your father with gun is not right. Come on. I hate repeating myself. Leave my way. Bro, I understand how you feel. Okay? But you must control your emotion. No matter what is still your father. Or you intend killing him while your sisters watch. The best form of revenge is for you to become successful. Forget about your father and win this contest ahead of him. Come on! This is township. You don't advise people. Guy, come off the road now. I've been at your boss head. I've been at your head. You want me to be 66 feet. Oh, now come off the road. What in the world you said? Move for road. Move for road. Focus one on the big things. Any can you your Baba do wins. One in a water you they feel me. No coach you will be I be big fish. Focus one on the big things. Any can you your Baba do wins. One in a water you they feel me. No coach you will be there. I be big fish. I be big fish. You have shown me how desperate you can be because of the title Okazu. You want to shed blood. You will never have that title because you are not a big fish, Iborazo. I am the biggest fish, and if anything happens to that girl, I repeat, if anything happens to that girl, I swear on my mother's grave, I will come for you and everything around you. What nonsense was he talking about? He was attacked by uh, some unknown government today. Him and his male friend managed to escape, but the gear they were with was hit. So I believe he thought you ordered the hit on him. Very well, unfortunate, but I didn't order any hit. Oh no. My peaceful kingdom has suddenly become a battlefield. All because of your greed. Father has turned against son, and son has turned against father, all in the name of supremacy. Igwe, this is the reason more we should crown AGK as the Okazo, because he has shown nothing than composure in the midst of this conflict. Oh no, sometimes you do not consider your position before you speak. How do you wear your cap on the knee when the head is still there? How? Igwe. But Chief Donard has shown sign of unstable. Eh? How can a father be attacking his son over nothing? What was he thinking? Pointing a gun at his son? Does he want to kill him? And have you, uh, and have you also considered another angle to that? What if the whole gun episode is educated ploy to gain sympathy? Have you thought about that? A young man that decided to pitch his tent against his father can go to any length to achieve his goal. Think or no? Think. Why does my father hate me so much? Even when I'm his only son. Pablo, if you ask me, I will tell you that man didn't hurt you. Yes. I believe he only wants to push you. Like to stretch you to achieve success. By making an attempt on my life? Come on. Those boys are not professionals. They are amateurs. And I don't think Chief Donald will employ amateurs for a mother hit. I don't care. Whichever way, my father must regret this. His worst mistake was making me his enemy. Don't forget to see your father. Onyeka. Onyeka. Come. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I want you to find out immediately who attacked my son. All right, boss. That person will never go unpunished. If there's anybody to kill my son, let me do it by myself. For all the insult he has heaped on my head, 
but not another person. Find out immediately. All right, boss. You can count on me. To prepare jollof rice. Maybe we like and it. what? Chicken? Yeah. That's good. Did I not tell you that he can't do without his family? He will definitely come back. Well, Father, you don't need to start celebrating. Because I am not here to stay, but to pick a few things and leave your house for good. Honey, I know you will not do that. Would you like to leave your mother? Do you? Mom, I have your number and I will call you. But as for me to stay under the same roof with this wicked man that claims to be my father, over my dead body. Please. Evelyn, why are you worrying yourself over a boy who has vowed to be stubborn and to disrespect his father? His disobedience will be his biggest doom. Honey, do you know that you are the cause of this whole thing? Moses is old enough to make a decision for himself. And any woman he marries will be stuck with him till death. Let and now go. you want to tell him who to marry or not to marry. Let him go. There are other children out there to take his place. He's not the only one. Why is he behaving this way? Let him go. Honey, really, I'm really getting tired of this whole thing. Your father was in our house the other day. He said you haven't been home for some time now. I tried reaching out to you, but your number wasn't connecting. I am here to know what happened. Oh, come on, babe. Stop acting like you don't know what's going on. I mean, you know what's going on. Um, I am sorry if I acted without any the last time. Just that what happened shaked me. I am happy that you've finally returned to your family. Well, um, I'm no longer living under the same roof for the man. Who thinks he can decide my life right from childhood up to this stage? No, 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 no. Moses, you do not need to say that. You know, it's only our family that has the, our parents, that has the power to control us. Well, babe, as you can see, we're no longer in the cave era where our parents can decide our lives through us. Look, I have my rights and my rights should be respected. I am not disputing that. All I'm saying is that you should return back to your family. And I promise I will return back to this relationship so that we can be the way you used to be. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you for real? Do you mean what you just said now? You know that I love you, right? Yeah, I do. I do not want to be the reason you are separated from your family. Well, um, it's okay. This is what's going to happen. I would go inside and return my bag. You wait for me. I'll be right back. Okay? Sure. All right. I'll be right back. Pablo, you sent for me. Yes. I want you to assemble all the families affected during the shootout. Okay. Can you handle that? Of course. I can get them in two days' time. Good. I want to pay each and every one of them condolence visit. With that, I will gain more love and buy people's hearts. That's a nice idea. I will teach my father do not choose. I'm passing a go case. Tebe. I will keep messing him up from ego kuno kambalaba. My God. I will tell him that that title biggest fish is mine. Relax. I will tell him that his money is old and outdated. Pablo, chill down. My money comes with connection. I am the Pablo of all Pablos. 
Okay. I really better go. This is one of the ways I went for the operation. So you move sent you to keep the sanity. I will ask you just one more time. If you don't tell me the truth, Runeka, you will take him, cut off his ten fingers. Now tell me, who sent you? Sir, it's your daughter that sent us. She said he's your enemy and he owes you no apology. I've told you the truth, sir. You know, for I forgave you before. I will not forgive you again. Ayaka, take him away. These two young men here, our sons, Njube and Bonema, they are trying to tear each other apart. We will not sit by and allow that to happen, shall we? No. So that is why I summoned them here for us to listen to them and get this matter solved. They are fighting over a piece of land. Njube, over to you. I agree to Igwe and my elders. I agree to you too. It all started last month when I was having serious issues in my business and I went to my friend to give me a loan, which he insisted that I must give him my land as a collateral. And I did. But now I have the money back to pay and he has refused to give me back my land. You were, our agreement has passed. The land is not mine. Igwe, and he knew how, how I, I closed down my business just to raise that money. <clears throat> Jobless youths. What was the initial agreement? It was three weeks. Okay. When the three weeks expired, did you in any way reach out to him and be like, sorry, I know my deadline is up. But I don't have this money, extend it for me, and we'll pay so 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 time. Makani Loma Gina Jaga no Did you do something like that? Yes, I did. I always go to him, but he 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 will tell me I'm busy, I can't see you, I'm busy every time. That's wrong on your own part. Why were you avoiding him? Is this what the cabinet meeting was summoned for? Such a private matter. So uh, this cabinet has been reduced to this level that two brothers have a very simple matter which they can use uh, common intelligence and knowledge to solve. That's why we are meeting as a cabinet. And how much is involved, if I may ask? 250000 If you want the land back, you can pay me that too. Don't be wicked. This is your friend. Don't treat him like that. Anyways, like this man said, this is not something that we should take our time. Can I bring 500,000 naira? Who am I giving it to? Let's just change topic. Igwe, hey, us. Uh, let me make this very simple. Nzube, I will give you my card. You will go to my office, ask of my daughter. My name is Sarah. Tell her I said she should give you instant appointment to work in my office. I said, Ingwana Olo, this nonsense wouldn't have happened. It's better to teach a man how to catch fish than to give him fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah Chief. <laughs> but Chief, before I can agree to this, what will be my takeout every month? On my choice. 
My daughter will discuss that with you. Okay, Chief. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief. In the absence of any other matters, I'm a very busy man, which you know. I will take my leave because there are more pressing issues to attend to. Are you satisfied? Yes. Onyema, I'm sure you're happy. What have you leave us? Um, no. Considering what happened today between uh, Chief Donald and uh, his son Ejike, who do you think is fit for the position of Okazu of EOJ? Igwe, going by the truth, I am confused as well. Uh, but AGK has blessed our youth monetarily. And the father also is not just an ordinary and should be appreciated. Mm. The Okazo position, the Okazo chieftaincy position is not for flash in a pan achievement. It is for deep-rooted achievers, people who have been into community development over time and are still doing it. So if you ask me, Chief Donald, the father, is the most suited for that position. Hey, good. Why are you sounding resolved? as if we, the cabinet members, have agreed to this. That is why I am discussing it with you. You and the rest of the elders need to meet over it and take a position before I rule on it. But at least you know my position. Oh no, what were you saying on the phone? I didn't hear you clearly. I said you have to upgrade your plan and tactics because what your father did last time at the palace has changed the king's mind by choosing him for the chieftaincy title. The king cannot choose my father over me. I got my father, but I go cheer. We're talking new money here. You know I'm richer than my father as we speak. When it comes to international connection, I have more, more than he does. So what is the problem? EJK Mowa, you have to upgrade yourself. I know what I'm saying. I will become the Okazo of Yuhioji Kingdom. The biggest fish. Nothing can change that. Not even my father, not even the Igwe. So trust me, I will not only upgrade, but I will take charge. I'm the biggest fish, the Pablo of all Pablos. Oh no, don't kill my vibe. Don't. And I promise I won't kill your vibes. Cool. <laughs> hey, GK Moa, mm. you are there. Now we there. DJ Bego. Now we there. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Enjoy with me now. I'd like to take this one. Oh, okay. Mom, Dad, I am here to inform you that I have decided to marry Sarah. I love her so much and she's pregnant for me. Wow, really? That means I will soon become a grandmother. Yes, Mom. Oh. Son, when I said that you will not marry that daughter of a thief, I mean it. So stop tempting me. Well, Dad, as a matter of fact, you've been the one tempting me all along. It's just because I love my own so much and I choose to protect my own. So that, do not tempt me. Son, what are you talking about? Whatever nonsense he's spewing out of his mouth, I don't care. I have made my intention known. He will never marry that girl. 
And if you think I cannot hurt you because you're my son, you're very correct. But you see that girl? She's not my daughter. I will definitely hurt her. Well, Dad, you don't want me to spill what I know. Because if I do, you'll be languishing the rest of your life in jail. Jesus. So don't tempt me, Dad. Mom, I'm out of here. Honey, what is he talking about? You're asking me. Ask your son. Daddy, what do you mean you don't understand? I have proven my loyalty and competence to you over the years for you to entrust the company to me. Yet you keep pushing it afar. What is it you don't understand? You want me to make you this regional marketing representative for South East and South South. The position Mr. Agabi has held over the years and I'm still doing well in it. Daddy, Mr. Agabi might be doing well in his position, but you and mommy better this idea. The company is yours, and Mr. Agabi can always take another position. I can't do what you're asking me to do. <laughs> oh, Daddy. You can't do it because I'm a woman. Because I am not your special child, AGK. Because even he has openly rebelled against you time without number. But if you still come back here, you will embrace him and make him the envy of the company. That is, if you will not even step down for him. Daddy, why do you hate me? Why do you treat me like I don't matter? Why you treat AGK with so much respect and, and care? Enough of this nonsense and we'll discuss this matter with you again. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Daddy? Is that what you're telling me? We have no other thing to discuss. Just get out. But this discussion is closed. And my decision is by now. Okay. I know the position I hold in this, this house. <laughs> Stop it. Baby, you're so funny. I know. Look, uh, you know we've been dating for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, how about we take our relationship to the next level? Well, you know, my only problem is, would your father accept me for who I am? Probably we could just, you know, elope to another city and get <laughs> married there. Moses, elope. Oh, no, no, no. See, babe, look, I love you very much. And my life was empty before you came along. And I can't imagine a life without you in it. Look, just elope with me to another city. We can get married and make a beautiful life out of it. Think about it, babe. You know, I feel the same way about you, right? Yeah, I do. I feel we should just come and see my father. Discuss with him. And whatever he says, we can take it up from there. Yeah. All right. You say so. <laughs> okay, right now. You know I'm a foodie. I do I'm now. I'm hungry. Oh, say you no know more. Take me to that favorite spot. I have one said. of the <laughs> best favorite spots in town. Come I know. Come <laughs> Moses has been threatening you on what to say or do that will hurt you. Yes, so what does that mean? What does he know about you? Or is that something you are not telling me? Why didn't you ask him? Because I know nothing about it. But let me warn you. If that boy should go ahead to disobey me and marry that girl, I will disown him and cut off all his wings. Because I made him. The car, the clothes, and everything he has belongs to me. Chief, you do no such thing. You can't.
What did you say you wanted to discuss with me? Daddy, yeah, you, you wanted to... Oh, okay. Uh, this is Moses, and he is... I know who he is. And whose son he is. Young man, how well do you love my daughter? Uh, well, sir, I, I love your daughter very much, and I desperately want to make her my wife. Well, if both of you have agreed, I will not stand in your position. Thank you, sir. Your father may think that I'm in conflict with him. But I tell you, I have enough information on your father to put him away for life. But for the sake of his children, I won't do that. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sir, thank you very much. I must confess you're way better than my father. Daddy, I don't understand. Don't tell me you're planning to allow your daughter to get married into a family of a man that made you his number one enemy. Uh, look, sir, I promise if you allow me to marry your daughter, no harm will come to her. It's a promise, sir. I don't need you to promise me that. Because if any hair falls off my daughter's head, I will annihilate your entire family. Your father knows who I am. Your father is a dangerous man, but he knows me. So, I give you my blessing. You will impact my daughter positively. I don't want to judge you by who your father is, because he's a bad man. So I give you your own clean slate and see how you can impact on my daughter. All right, sir. All right, serve him a drink. Exactly, but I chose to ignore it. Because your happiness beyond everything is what matters to me. Daddy, are you saying that you know he is the son of your enemy and you kept quiet? Enemy. He therefore is not my enemy. But we don't agree on one or two things that don't make him my enemy. But if the boy is threatening you, leave him alone. I'm no, 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 sorry, Daddy, but I, I can't leave him. I think about Moses every day. I can't even imagine myself think about someone else. No, I can't. What then do you want me to do? Mom, Dad, I met Sarah's dad today and he gave me his blessings to go ahead and marry his daughter. And we have fixed a date for our wedding. It's obvious you want to see what I can do. Right? No, Dad. You are the one who is trying to see what I can do. Dad, I am tired of this your egoistic way of trying to bully me. Dad, I am not just going to marry her, but you will give us your blessings. And I promised her father that no harm will come to her. And if anyone, I mean anyone stands on my way, and that includes you, I am going to crush that person. Playing this drum of audacity to him. You better allow him to do what he wants to do. Because he is your dated version of anger and revenge. And whatever that is giving him confidence must contain enough asana to sink you. So shut allow up. him. Shut up and stop ranting. What do you know? I 
see our community as a very progressive one, where we discuss important issues about development. God up on even I and I be here corn now basele. That's what uh, led to what happened last week. Let it not happen again. Let us progress, move forward as progressives. Chief, you don't need to try remedy the insult you melted on us that day. Because we have all agreed to crown your son, Ejike, as the Okazu of Iyoji. Eh? Omori Yozo. Really? Really? Of course. Igwe, are you private to this? <laughs> well, I laugh because we have started discussing things that are not relevant, things that are not progressive, things that will not yield results. You see, for me, I'm not a man moved by titles. I can lead from whatever position I sit in this cabinet without a title. I can lead from my house. No castle title is just a distraction. If that is what you have decided, so be it. But I, I am not going to speak my mind in this meeting. My interest, Igwe, is for this community to move forward. And in that direction, we have the largest expanse of land amongst other communities here. What are we doing with it? In that line, I spoke with some friends of mine who have been doing business with over the years. They are from China. And they are tissue manufacturers. Igwe, who doesn't use toilet tissue in Nigeria? So from here, they will sell their industry here yeah, at no cost to us. And then from here, tissues will be exported or distributed to other Kanu, Aba, Kaduna, uh, uh, Lagos, and so on. And our sons and daughters will be employed. If I tell you, nothing less than 1,000 sons and daughters of this community will be employed. And that will be employment. Oh, Rihanna, because young men have things to do. And then our women will receive healthcare interventions. When you deem it, Free of charge or more one. What are you malaria or typhoid? We'll be able to take care of that. And then quality education. These are the things that I thought about. Oh, the Okazo title. But that was why I walked out of the meeting. Because I don't care here now, I said. I rest my case. Pablo. I think one of the major reasons you're losing to your father is because he has built an empire. And such an empire is what is using against you. So I suggest you set up yours. It's part of the growth. My father's empire is not what he's using against me. My father is using his influence, old connections, he knows men in power. He is using them to frustrate me. So money is not even the problem here. Then, why not invest into hotel business, fuel station? I mean, something that will employ staff and also generate money for... It's part of the growth also. I need something big, something that has a link with the government. Then you can also go into construction company. Yes, you have the money. Once you set up your company, you can go out for the contract of the third mainland bridge. Once you got the contract, not just the money, but the firm will also be there. A federal government project to help. Federal government project. Of course. Yes, I'm going to that. I'm going to that.
Dad, why did you do something like that? Why did you close my account? What? Honey, did you close down his account? Yes, yes, he did. Can you imagine? I, I went to shop for, for wedding gown for my fiancé, only to discover that my account was empty. And when I called my account officer, I said, Dad instructed, instructed, instructed him to, to, to empty my account. Why? Honey, why will you do something like that to your son? Every penny in that account belongs to me. I started crediting that account when he was a toddler. All right? And now that he feels he's a man, that he will not listen to what I say, and he wants to go against me, let him go out there and make his own money. He will not use my money to marry that girl, that man's daughter. Never. Well, I will go out there and tell the police how you impregnated Juliet and killed her. What? What did you just say? Yes, you heard what I said. He is just paranoid. Everyone knows that Juliet stole my five million naira. Hey. Come off it. I have proof and I have records to what I'm saying. Have you not been enjoying it? The last one we did has resulted to something bad. How? As I speak to you, I'm pregnant for you, sir. I'm pregnant. How could you be so careless to allow yourself to get pregnant? Huh? Listen, I am going to give you money to abort it. No, I can't do anything abortion. And I hope you have not mentioned this to anyone. No, I haven't. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Then you have to abort the baby. If you insist, I'm going to inform your wife. You I'm... want to dare me? No, I don't want to dare you, sir. I don't okay. want to dare you. <laughs> want to come and spoil my home, it will not happen. Yes. Tonight I am going to get rid of your body and declare you missing with my five million naira and some of my wife's jewelry. Well, mom, I decided to keep mute all this while because he's my father, but not anymore. I promise you I'm going to ruin you and I'm not going back on my words. Watch and see. You knew all this while. You don't you are evil. You are wicked. I hate you. I hate you. Wicked man. Honorable Commissioner, I don't get it. I don't understand. I did all you asked me to do. What then are you saying? All right, I will be in your office in the next 30 minutes. Why is everything going on? Please work on the next Evelyn! Evelyn! What is the meaning of all this? It's been five days. You are yet to cook in this house, and you have not fed me with any food. Does a murderer like you deserve food? Keep it quiet when you talk like this. You murdered the only cook we have in this house and forced me to leave my job just to become a full-time housewife. Listen, this was a mistake that I've lived with all my life. I am not proud of what happened. But if your son was wise enough, he would have just kept silent instead of trying to break us up with his selfish desire. Really? It is you that is selfish. Right from the first day I met you, you have always been a selfish person. And you want to use it to ruin my son's life? Oh, please stop. Ha. As a father, I am only doing what I can to protect my son's interest. Really? What is wrong with that? Please go and get me food. I'm starving. I should go and get you food. Evelyn. Evelyn! I said I need food. Daddy, you called me. Yes. 
of the due consultations and competence that you have uh, shown, I've decided to promote you as regional manager of South East and South South. Hey! Congratulations. Daddy, are you for real or you're just pulling my legs? The company is very grateful for your services and um, you will be starting off in your new office on Monday. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. I mean, I'm lost for words. But, Daddy, what about Mr. Agabi? You know he's the original manager for South South and South East region. Well, he's been transferred to South Africa to manage our office there. So, you start on Monday. Thank you so much, Daddy. I promise I won't disappoint you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best dad in the world. <laughs> what sort of stupid joke is this? I have spent over $1.2 million securing that contract. Now they are demanding for $1.5 million again. Who does that? Guy, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. See, what you stand to gain if you win this project is far bigger than what you're investing at the moment. You don't understand. I don't have such cash. For me to raise $1.5 million now, I have to sell some of my properties. Well, to be honest with you, I still think it's more profitable than anything else. Yes. Guy, see, secure this deal and start a chance of making a name for yourself in the construction business of this nation. No problem. I will sell some of my properties and raise the money. But I just Please hope sir. I'm doing the right thing. If I will get lost. Sorry, sir. You think I'm in the mood of drinking? I'm off here. I will sell some of my properties and raise the $1.5 million. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Of course. Life is all about risk. Yes, in life you must take a risk before you make it. I just hope this risk is worth it. Don't forget, the big fish must swallow the small fishes in the ocean if only you want to be big. It's all about choice here. Yeah. Who has one on the big things? Any can your baba do wins? One in our time you they feel me. Look how she will be a big fish. Who has one on the big things? Any can your baba do wins? One in our time you they feel me. Look how she will be a big fish. Dad, you guys sent for me, man. Please, whatever you have to say. Say it fast, I have an important meeting to catch up with. I believe I have a serious amendment to make with you, my family. I have wronged you, and I'm sorry about everything. Please forgive me. Moses, I am ready to sponsor your wedding to Sarah. Well, Dad, um, I won't be needing any financial assistance anymore. Sarah has already taken care of everything. And that being said, this is my resignation letter from the company. I'm quitting the job. Moses, you can't do that. You can't abandon this family just because of a woman. Well, mom, she's not just a woman. She's somebody's daughter. And despite the fact that her family is way richer than my family, they accepted me with their own heart. All like my father who is trying to frustrate me for no just cause. Moses, I know you're angry. You have every reason to be angry. Uh, but I want you to know that I have already reactivated your account. Okay? We are family, and I want us to stay that way. Please, my son. Please don't leave this house. Except you want me dead. Uh, mom. Well, it's okay, mom. I won't be quitting the job. But you know, I cannot continue to stay under the same house with you guys after I'm married. Yeah, I accept that, okay? You are now a grown man, and you live to stand on your own. All right, mom. I beg to take my leave now. 
Do not long now. It's all about choice, yeah. Who comes to want to make this? And you can't do what I do is. One in our life, you they feel me. No coaching with the air, I be big fish. Who comes to want to make this? And you can't do what I do is. One in our life, you they feel me. No coaching with the air, I be big fish. Start talking. Who sent you? Please, please speak. Else please. I'll kill of course, you, you know he will not speak. But I know it's the same man who sent people to attack you. Dad, are you saying you were not the one who sent men to attack me? Come on, Ejike. You're my son. My only son. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. This guy is a fool. Can't be wise. You have lost. You're a loser. Joe, Sir. take him to the police station. Please, 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 please. Please, now, please. Shh. Ah. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Take him, take him. Stand up, stand up. Come on. Stand up. Hey, hey, shh. Stand up. Please, stop, please. Shh. Stand up, follow me. Oh, you love life. Oh, please. You are afraid of dying. Please. Huh? Please. You are afraid of dying. Uh, take him. Uh. Oh my God! 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 Or do you want us to miss the church service? Moses, what are you doing here? And who are always looking with you? Officer, this is the criminal you came to arrest. Arrest him at once. Chief, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Sarah Donald and the murder of Miss Juliet Mordo. You have every right to remain silent, for whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have every right to a lawyer, but if you cannot afford one, the government can help you with that. Now move. Move in. Chief, I'm done no. Chief, where are you? Chief!
Lord, I'm not in the mood for all this. Why do you so money? What a bunny and no, oh, but as such a yanya, open the bicycle. When a child tries to run faster than his legs, or his cheek, or his father, he will run into confusion. Um, the fact is that uh, I summoned you so that you don't make great mistakes. You are hunting for a very big contract at the Ministry of Works. And you have had to sell almost all your acquired assets. Houses, lands, even your hotel. And um, for that, I salute you as a son of a jindo, having mastered the business tenacity. Dad, have you been spying on me? I don't want you to make a grave mistake, but as a father, I have to show some responsibility to know that I am there everywhere. Now, if I may ask, who is your informant? Did you plant anybody in my camp? Well, these are the papers for all the assets you've used to mortgage for the new contract you seek. The problem has always been that you have failed to understand who your father is and the kind of power he wields. One particular person has been telling you, Kenneth, that no one is Zogi de Loko by her contracts. It is me. In fact, look here, son. A photocopy of the $3.8 million bribe you gave for the $20 million contract you seek. You just photocopied and sent to me. Abu Mago, the lion. My eyes are everywhere. But a fact has been established that my son has proven to be a son, an agendo. So, son, congratulations. That makes me and gives me the pleasure and privilege and happiness to hand over all the assets that you think you have lost, plus more. So I will retire now, very well, and sing Judge Rova Emmanuel Holy, that my son has grown into a man. You have proven to be a man. Sit down. So, as I retire, I'm going to hand over everything to you so that you will know that your father is very proud of you. Honorable my brother, my son has proven to be a man, so I'm going to hand over all the documents to him. Yes, every contract approved. And thank you for being an honest man because you would have cornered the contract in your own name. Thank you. He will come over and sign the documents. Thank you for being a good friend. All yours. This is unbelievable. Dad, you just humbled my vibes.
A toad is a toad, and the frog is a frog. Though they might look alike, but they are not the same. And between a dog and a goat, we know the one who wiggles its tail. My father here, High Chief Donal Ejindu, is a well-respected man of Ihiyoji community. So it will be highly disrespectful to be dragging anything publicly with my father. So I hereby step aside. Let us all support him so that he can have that title, Okazu, because he is the biggest fish. I'll meet with you later. Oh, my God. Educate agenda. You are indeed a wise young man. And the gods will continue to prosper you for the wisdom you just displayed here today. It's a... Ono and the elders will now pick a date to do the need to crown your father, Donald Ejendo, the Okazu one of Iyoji. Okazu one. Iyoji Queen. Hey! Iyoji Queen. Hey! Which one? Hey! Okazu. <laughs> In fact, I am short of words. I am happy at this ending part of this whole saga. My son. AGK It is well with you. My son, AGK, where is the vibes now? <laughs> my, my vibes is now calm. <laughs> Feel me. 